Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm 4 Developed by CyberConnect2 Published by Bandai Namco This game Lord of Mercy This game I, I just really don't understand why I really just don't understand why What I'm talking about is how? How? We're all the way in freaking mark. We don't have no freaking patch. Patch 1.09. This game, this game is literally killing itself right now. But, you wanna know what? I will save all of that for the video. Hoppers! Stammer for battle! I didn't think that it was possible for us to be all the way in March and we still haven't gotten a patch for this game yet and I find that like I don't know why I'm freaking shocked I really don't know because they did the same stunt like well actually they gave us you know like some small patches to fix little stuff here and there but they didn't do nothing and before anybody like says, you know, why are you ranting about, you know, Storm 4? Storm 4 is a perfect game. It has all these features. Look, let me help you understand something. I mean, you, I mean, nine times out of ten, you wouldn't like listen to me or like hear the reason why I'm saying it. You open your mind, open everything. This game is not perfect. Every game, even the best games, have its flaws, my boy. I love this game. I. I freaking love Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm 4. That's the reason why I play it and I scream it so much because one, it brings the community together. It is like, let me tell you one thing. First thing that I love about this game, I'm able to play as any character from the Naruto universe. If I wanted to play with Naruto, uses Kagabo shins on my opponent, I can use my Kagabo shins. I can use my Rasengan. I can do all that type of stuff that Naruto would do in the anime. Understand that. And I use different types of variation. If a brother want to use Sasuke, he can use Sasuke's Chidori, Amaterasu, Susano. He can do, he has a plethora of options. If you don't like them, shoot, you can go to the next one. You can use Shikamaru, you can play the game like how Shikamaru was. Be a genius of the battlefield. Get your opponent in a, in a place where you can totally like defeat them. And the gameplay is so free and open. If I want a ninja move sidestep, if I want to do all this type of stuff, I can do anything that I want to. And I could play any way. If I want to be a spammer, I could be a spammer. If I want to play cheap, I could play cheap. You understand? It gives us that variety of gameplay. Not many games have this type of variety. But this game has all these freaking flaws. Though it is fun. Though to us, to me, you know, this game is to me one of the best fighting games. It could be that. But there's no freaking support. That's what's killing it right now. This game literally is killing itself. If it's not the white screens of death, the the crashes that come from either you playing somebody laggy, the brother could have a blue bar, but but the connection is a red bar. Like how? Because every time, like the game, every time you play someone, the game. When it feels lag, it hiccups, it hiccups, it hiccups, then dies. Just like that. And it shouldn't be like that. And what's crazy is Cyber Connect 2. You, Cyber Connect 2 can't say, you know, we don't know nothing about that. Empty slots? We don't know what you're talking about. Then let's address that right now. These suckers. I wanted to give these fools the benefit of the doubt. 
I wanted, I really wanted to give them a better fair, but that went, you know, I saw this update, you know, they fixed, they gave a spectator mode, they fixed all these type of crashes, I mean, not crashes, but they fixed all these bugs, they nerfed some characters because they were a bit OP, they made some characters faster, that's all well and good, but them freaking bugs, when they say that awakening glitch does not ex exist anymore, I was like, like, oh man, they did the job. No more shuriken glitch? Well, I must admit, the shuriken glitch is, is gone. I haven't seen nobody use it. But that awakening glitch is still in this game. It's like these things evolve. It's like this game knows, you know, like, y'all thought y'all fixed me? Sleep! You didn't. And I said this in February when Road to Porto dropped. They, had, they, you cannot tell me. They had a month. They can at least send out something, or you know, like communicate with their fans. You know, when they wanted to provide us updates for Road to Boruto, they could have just, you know, said we've hear, we've heard all the concerns in the community. We're going to fix them. They could at least give us a date, time, something, but they haven't. They're saying this game is perfect. You know, you know, advertise it, tell it to your friends. You know, this game is super good. But problem is with that is it isn't. There are bugs that need to be addressed. All these crashes, all this stops our experience, yo. This game literally kills itself. It it makes you like Superman upset. It, it, it it's honestly not your opponent your opponent can have like a perfect connection but when this game crashes on you at the wrong time that thing aggravates you bro and then the game penalizes you for a crash that you cannot control do you understand that this game literally you know like say we don't give a crud about what happened whether it's our fault or your fault you still get penalized for it we need an update and if the update doesn't come by sun summer, I'm not going to be, you know, doing any type of special tournaments. Because the game literally, like, if I try and hold a tournament, this game will either give a person white screen of death where a person cannot play their match and they automatically get eliminated. And I find that, like, bogus. It shouldn't be that way. It should, you know, like, be worked on. All these crashes, lags, bugs, all that should be worked on. It shouldn't be just left out here just to suffer. And I would like to talk about this Road to Boruto. Wanting more characters. I really do know. And then here's the thing. They're, they're, the o Otsutsuki's Momoshiki, to Momoshiki Kenshiki, and as well as the Fusion Momoshiki. They had the opportunity, you know, like their game model, they Konohamaru kind of picking. All of those guys could have been in this game, but you know they, you know y'all know the excuse. I don't need to reiterate it again. But uh, at this point in time, I don't know why we couldn't get them because this update, though it brought a spectator mode, which you know should have been easy. We should have had it by summer, but you know they want to save it, do it to last minute do it because you know they were working on the working on like releasing Road to Boruto this entire time so. at the end of the day Cyber Connect 2 gave themselves a bad rap they already proven it to us we don't give a care about our consumers we we just let things be the way they're supposed to be we do not support our games we just put out a simulate awesome game awesome idea awesome content but we just, you know, like, give up on the game. And we see it time, time, after time, and again, it, it happens. I love this game. I've said it once, I'm gonna say it again, and it hurts me over and over and over again just to play this game and for it not to work the way it's supposed to work. I really do love this game. I want this game to become better. I want them to fix this game. But at the end of the day, we gotta move on. We got to get new types of stuff. We got to actually have fun in something. That's why I'm thinking about, you know, picking up another game. 
It's not gonna, you know, be like the main star of the channel, but you know, it's gonna be something that we able to come together and play and have some real genuine type of fun. If Naruto Storm Trilogy drops, you can bet your life that we're moving on to that. Because Storm 4, you know, I love the switching mechanic, but that switching mechanic is freaking broke. Because there's no reason for our brother to zoom in and then the impact would stun the person in the air or if he if he jumps over it he still gets stunned somehow some way he had to be 10 feet over the switch for him not to be able to get hit and i find that like ridiculous but guys let me know what y'all think in the comment section below i appreciate all y'all love support everything operatives move out